getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Pretty good little jump. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In 2021, Omega announced 8 new Speedmaster references. The new collection has some changes that really appeal to watch enthusiasts. Most may not even notice what those changes are. New caliber, the 3861, and some minor differences that just made the Speedmaster a lot better. So what is the Omega Speedmaster? I'm pretty sure by now you already know the story. So to avoid repeating myself and to avoid repeating what thousands have already covered. Here's what you need to know in less than 15 seconds. All right, 15 second history lesson, let's go. The Omega Speedmaster was chosen as the official timekeeper for the Apollo 11 mission. That was a big moment for Omega, they will forever remind you of that. Think of that one uncle at dinner that will never shut up about his one major achievement. That is Omega for you. Yes, the watch made it to the moon. No, the watch you or I have didn't, don't be crazy. So you may have noticed this is not a normal Speedmaster. As you can tell, it's in rose gold, or to be more specific, Sedna gold as Omega calls it. At first I thought it was just a marketing gimmick that there's no difference between Sedna gold and rose gold, but there is actually a major difference and I'm going to showcase it with a little comparison in a second. What you get here is the new 2021 Omega Speedmaster with the new updated caliber D3861. This is actually the first Omega Speedmaster that I'm heavily considering adding to my collection. Call me crazy, but there's just something about that Sedna Gold that I really, really like. Now, the first thing you'll notice about the Omega Sedna Gold is how bright it actually is in the dark. Over here, I have the lights turned way down and you guys can see I don't even need Loom to see the time and just something about that case makes it look way shinier. Now, as you can see, there's a difference between Sedna Gold and Rose Gold. I have the Brigade Marine Chronograph right here. Yes, I get it. There's differences in polishing, but if you look at the tip of the Omega Speedmaster, you'll see some polishing. The Omega Speedmaster, the Sedna Gold, is a lot darker, and you'll see regular Rose Gold is way brighter. You guys will see that the Sedna Gold kind of looks like bronze from my experience. In 2021, Omega decided to focus on evolution. Instead of revolutionizing the case, they just did some minor details that made the Omega Speedmaster even better. Smaller lug-to-lug -lug distance, a thinner case, and a recessed crown and pushers. They're also a bit wider, which makes it a lot more comfortable on the wrist. Overall, minor details, but it makes the watch a lot more comfortable. Now in the macro details is where we could get really nerdy. Let's take a look at the differences between the new Speedmaster and the old one. The first thing you're going to notice is a step dial. Essentially looking at the center and the minute marks, you'll see a little step that gives the dial more depth. The second difference that most won't notice is in the minute marks. Between every minute mark, we get two hashes rather than four. What this does, it gives the dial a little bit less of a cluttered dial. After all, chronographs tend to look a bit busy and with tiny details like this, you get a simpler dial to look at, and in my opinion, it does make a big difference. The new updated 3861 is a manual wind chronograph. What you get here is a coaxial escapement, a free sprung balance, and anti-magnetic properties. Overall, a beautiful manual wind chronograph to take a look at for under $10,000. Well, in this case, if you go with Sedna Gold, you're getting it for $24,000. 
In addition to beautiful aesthetics, you get that coaxial escapement developed by master watchmaker Mr. George Daniels. Omega is smart enough to adopt it, and now you have it in the Omega Speedmaster 2021 version. Sometimes, and in my case, beauty sort of takes over logic. This watch is about $15,000 more than the regular stainless steel model, but I would love to purchase it. Are you getting a lot of differences between this and the stainless steel? Well, not really. You get the Sedna gold case and that's about it. If you want the exact same watch, get the stainless steel version. But this watch is so beautiful and in my opinion, the best looking Speedmaster I've ever seen. I would personally purchase it. I'm actually highly considering it. When considering your next luxury purchase, it's important to find someone you can trust but also authorized dealers for the brands. Today's sponsor is ExquisiteTimepieces.com. Exquisite timepieces have been in the business for the past 30 years and they're authorized dealers for many brands such as Omega, Blopa, Breguet, Glasuta, and many more. They also carry high-end watches in the pre-owned section, so make sure you check out ExquisiteTimepieces.com or book a call with Exquisite Timepieces to consult about your next purchase.